Now friends, uh, let's solve this problem from 3D mensuration. A conical whistle with semi-vertical angle 30 degree and height 10.5 cm has a thin lid. A sphere kept inside it touches the lid. The radius of the sphere, that, uh, we have to find out. So I have drawn a rough sketch over here. Uh, rough diagram over here. This is the cone and this is the sphere. And uh, the radius of this particular sphere we have to find out, right? And this sphere is touching the lid of this cone, right? Now height from this point to this point that is given to us as 10.5 centimeter. That is actually the height of the cone, okay? Now this is the radius of the cone. This is height of the cone. So, and uh, one more thing. This semi-vertical angle that is 30 degree is given to us. So what is semi-vertical angle? This angle. So this is actually 30 degree, right? Now you can see this right angle triangle. This is perpendicular because this is the radius and this is the height. So angle between the two is right angle. So this is right angle and this is right angle triangle, right? Now using these two, we can find out the radius and this uh, hypotenuse of this right angle triangle, right? Radius means uh, this base. This is actually perpendicular, so we can find out the perpendicular and hypotenuse of this triangle, right? And perpendicular of this triangle is nothing but the radius of this cone. Okay, now relationship between these two, R and 10.5. This is perpendicular and this is base. So relationship between this and this will be given by 10 theta, right? So here theta is what? 30 degree. So 10, 30 degree, 1 by root 3 is R upon 10.5 that can be written as 21 by 2 right so that gives us r as 21 by 2 root 3 okay so this length is 21 by 2 root 3 now we have to find out the radius of this sphere suppose this is the center so this will be the radius of the sphere and uh, this is the tangent to the sphere so the angle between radius and tangent will be 90 degree so this angle is 90 degree right now this suppose this is o p and q o p and o q both of them will be having the same length because these are the two tangents from a single external point right so o p or o q will be same so if it is uh, 21 by 2, 2 root 3 this will also be 21 by 2 root 3 that is a radius of this cone okay now in this triangle suppose this is m m q a we can find out the relationship between this is suppose capital r so relationship between r and a q will also be uh, we can also find that using the same trigonometric relation this is perpendicular this is base so 10 30 degree that is 1 upon root 3 is equal to R upon AQ. Okay. And uh, similarly, we can find out the complete length OA. This OA is hypotenuse and uh, AP is base. Okay. So base and hypotenuse, the relationship is given by cos theta. So cos 30 degree, that is root 3 by 2 is equal to 10.5, that is 21 by 2 by OA okay the so OA is 21 by root 3 now you can see this entire length is 21 by root 3 that is OA and this length is 21 by 2 root 3 that means this length the remaining length will also be 21 by 2 root 3 okay so AQ is 21 by 2 root 3 so I put AQ over here 21 by 2 root 3 right so Easily now, only unknown value R is there. So that can be calculated. So that is 21 upon 2 into 3. That is 7 by 2. That is 3.5 centimeter. Right? So easily this problem can be solved. The important things that you have to keep in your mind over here is what is a semi-vertical angle. And uh, just do not get confused. This is the radius of the sphere and it 
will not be parallel to this line. Most of the student uh, students get confused over here. They just make this line parallel to this. So this parallel line and this parallel lines, but this is not the radius of this uh, sphere, right? So do not get confused over here. That's really important over here. So uh, we just have a quick recap. This is the height of this cone and the semi-vertical angle is given. Relationship between this height and radius can be calculated using 10 theta, 10 30 degree. So R can be calculated. Similarly, from this and this relationship is uh, given by cos theta. So using cos 30 degree, we can find out OA. And the third is this triangle. So relationship between this and this is given by, again, cos theta will be using, I'm sorry, 10 theta. So using 10, 30 degree, we can calculate the unknown value R, right? So if you're conceptually clear, this problem can be easily solved in one minute, right?